Hi there, welcome to another episode of Create Something Today. I'm Reka, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how I paint on a silk pillowcase using silk paints. Now, I just did this workshop as an in-person workshop, and it was a lot of fun, and that inspired me to put this video tutorial together. Now, I will tell you that the tutorial is an overview. It doesn't go into all the detailed steps, but I did write a blog post uh, with the details step by step, and you can find that blog post on my website at divineny.com, and I've also put a link to the blog post in the description below. And I'm also sharing with you the supplies that I used in the description below. Uh, so let's dive in. Now the first step is to iron your silk pillow cover to remove all the wrinkles, which I've done here. And I've gone ahead and placed some freezer paper in between the uh, pillow cover so that um, it will just protect the other side. The paint won't seep through to the other side. And then the next step you wanna do is find some inspirational images of some hand-painted silk pillows. So for this example, I found this picture. And uh, this is my inspiration. So I'm obviously not gonna do the exact same thing but I'm going to use this as my inspiration to paint my pillow cover. And I'm going to choose three colors. I'm gonna choose the Azure Blue, uh, the Periwinkle, and Violet. So they're in a similar shade of color. They're not um, totally different, so I'm gonna try this out and, and see how it works. So let's get started. And I've chosen three colors. I've chosen Azure Blue, Periwinkle, and Violet as my three colors um, to paint my pillow. So I'm just gonna be alternating between the three. So again, here's my inspiration image. Um, so I'm just gonna like kind of randomly choose the three colors and then just paint them in different sections. And then when they're wet, what I am applying to it is a Jacquard Silk Salt. and what the salt does is it reacts with the wet paint to create a very textured type of pattern. It looks really cool once um, it's reacted with the paint and then you remove the salt and then you get that very uh, nice textured effect. So that's what I'm going to do while the paint is still wet. Now I want my colors to flow into each other. So the first step I did is to dampen a section of the pillow with uh, a brush and some water. So I'm just gonna take that and just dampen the area.
once you've removed the salt and your silk paint is mostly dry, the final step is to just embellish it with the PBO Gouda in gold. Now this is optional, you don't have to. You could leave your silk pillow um, the way you've already painted it, that's totally fine. But I like to add a little bit of gold embellishment to it. And I'm just like very randomly following like the paint lines, not in really any specific way, just very abstract and following the paint outlines. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you feel inspired now to go out and paint your very own silk pillowcase. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and join my design community. Go to divineny.com and sign up for my email newsletter and I will share with you all kinds of creative inspiration. So I will see you again soon. Bye.